Coming up, today's guest was probably a nightly visitor in your home for years, and chances are you never even knew it. You're going to meet him when we come back. Hello, I'm Sam Jones. You already know that Governor Mary Fallon was called to meet with Donald Trump about a possible appointment to his administration. She's on record as saying she's open to the idea of leaving Oklahoma to work in Washington. You also know that you paid the $6,000 tab for that job interview. How did that work? Well, one of the positions discussed was head of the Department of the Interior. What you may not know is, how does that work? <laughs> a sitting governor appointed to take the reins of a federal agency for which she has absolutely no training. Well, let me see if I can shine a little bit of light on it for you. Should she get the appointment, she would, of course, resign as governor of Oklahoma and move to Washington to fill the post. But she has no training, no background for such a position, you say. No problem. You see, the person below the post she'll be taking is the one that truly understands how the agency works. So that person will actually be her handler. Fallon's job will be to implement the new president's direction for the agency, and the number two person there will help her do just that. Now, it's important you know the Department of the Interior also controls the National Park Service. The National Park Service manages all U.S. national parks, many national monuments, and other conservation and historical properties. You also need to know that there has been a move to make the national parks more friendly to oil and natural gas drilling. Mary Fallon would be a good fit, of course. Of course. <laughs> Her biggest competitor would likely be Sarah Palin, who's fond of saying, drill, baby, drill. And she's also making herself available to the Trump administration. Now, I don't know if any of this will come to pass, but let me just ask you this. Does the idea of oil and gas exploration in areas of our national parks, now off limits, bother you at all? It should. What about fracking? Would that be allowed? Well, we've seen what that sort of operation has done to parts of Oklahoma. Just ask the folks who live in Cushing about it. We are now, of course, the earthquake capital of the world. And if fracking makes its way into our federal park system, would we see Smokey the Bear run out of our national woods because the ground shakes too much? What would Mary Fallon or Sarah Palin bring to our wonderful park system? What about commercial development? Hotels? Resorts? Maybe an airport or two? How does that work? Now, I don't know what's coming, but given their past job performances, I ask you, should we be worried? That's my perspective. Coming up, he says he's retired, but you'd be hard-pressed to find a retiree so passionate about his current line of work. And you're going to meet him right after this.